Hey everybody, Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Hey, we're currently on our way to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, folks, we are keeping an eye on the weather. And we have stopped off for a few days here at a campground, a Corps of Engineer campground, on the Arkansas River near Little Rock, Arkansas. And I'm sure a lot of you know probably where we're talking about. Don't you imagine? Probably. Oh, probably so. Yeah. So if you happen to be in the area and want to come by and say hi, do that. Uh, well, we got a video you're just about ready to watch, and we needed to interject something right quick. We had all of our footage shot and all ready to be put together and edited. And then, like a day or two before we were ready to leave our last spot where we were... Uh, it was the morning that we packed up. Yeah, the morning that <laughs> we were packing, a fellow follower was uh, in the same campground and had to stop by and say hi. And we're glad that they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. And what were their names again? Doy. Doy. And Cohen. Cohen. And, and Cohen wants to be a YouTuber. Yes, he does. So, and he's the boy. Right. So we shot a quick photo, and I told Cohen that uh, we would try to get a, his picture up on the next video. So there you go, Cohen. <laughs> so there we were go. very glad that they stopped yeah. by to visit, even if it was brief, because yeah. they were getting ready to head out, and we were getting ready to head out, but it was awesome. Yeah, it sure was. We we wish we could have spent more time and visited longer. So uh, anyway, but he did say, the dad did say, and that's Doy. That's Doy. He said that we were the reason why he was at that particular campground. It is a campground that we had visited once before. So anyway... We hope you enjoy the video. We wanted to get that stuck in there right quick because Absolutely. we promised uh, promised Cohen that we would. So there you go, Cohen. Anyway, folks, enjoy the video. Well, here we are back at one of our favorite campgrounds in northwest Arkansas. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're at beautiful Beaver Lake. Well, actually, we're Wait. just below the dam on the White River. That's but true. But just below the dam at Beaver Lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, the name of this campground is... Um, dam Site River. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> dam Site actually, River. Actually, this area is called the Pines. Which is one of our favorite camping spots. We've been here before. Yes. And um, all of the sites are really nice here, every single one of them. I don't think there's a bad spot. Yeah. You know, um, if you can get into the pines, uh, the only bad thing about it is that you have to fill up your water tank before you get here. Yep. Because there is not water at the site. There's electric, 30-amp, uh, but you've got the river just right over there. You've got all these tall pine trees, so we've got lots and lots and lots. Of shade. Lots of shade. <laughs> Lots of shade. Absolutely. So if you're ever in this area uh, and you want to 
camp at a beautiful spot where you have lots of shade, a whole bunch of tall pines everywhere, and a wonderful place to ride your bicycle as, oh, uh, my goodness, as they yes. saw. Yeah. We love riding our Absolutely. bikes here. Uh, it's a good trek around. And the river is just right over here. We can't see the river because of all the growth, but people walk over there and fish, and I believe it's trout fishing, isn't it? Yeah, that's the major thing right here is trout fishing, and it's on the White River. Now, eventually, the White River goes on down, and it becomes the headwaters of Table Rock Lake, which isn't very far from here at all, and we'll talk about that more here in a minute. But while we're here, we had to come here and conduct some family business and go see our doctors and things like that. <laughs> You would just be shocked about what how much time yeah, all that took. I know, but uh, all that fun stuff that we had to do. Had to be at a certain place at a certain time. Yeah. yeah. What's up with that? Exactly. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> but now let's talk about where we came from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We came from Oxark uh -huh. Campground. And that's spelled A-U-X-A-R-C, two words. A-U-X-A-R-C, Ox Ark Campground. And it's very close to Ozark, Arkansas. Yeah. Which is real close to I-40. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're not very far from I-40 at all. Uh, it's right on the Arkansas River. And the beautiful part about this campground, we really didn't want to leave, did we? No. At all. No. But our back door opened up right to the view of the river. Uh, our particular campsite was right on the river so we had some beautiful views and what did we enjoy the most there oh just sitting and watching the water and watching the barges come down the barges come down from tulsa yeah uh Katusa, which is Katusa. right next to tulsa and yeah. and you know and they go the other way too yeah it was, we had <laughs> trouble with our directions down yeah there. <laughs> for a little bit for a little bit for a little yes, bit yes the barges go both directions and we was right by the lock and dam Right. Yeah, we could see the lock and dam from where we were, and it was really cool to watch the barges go in. And, um, and of course, they have to go through the lock and dam, you know, in order so they can go on. And we just had a lot of fun and just real pleasant just sitting there watching that I, happen. I sat there for hours just oh, watching Oh, yeah, that. absolutely. <laughs> and while we were there, we visited the Post Winery in nearby Altus, Arkansas. Yes, it was awesome. Yes, it was awesome. I hope you don't mind if I do a little videoing. You okay with that? You don't mind being on YouTube? Look, look into the camera. Look, look. I can edit that out. <laughs> this one. Yes. Yeah, that has brandy. It's 19%. Well, heck, it didn't say that anywhere. Well, no oh, wonder funny. we liked it so well. Well, it said at the bottom, 19%. Well, I saw the Yeah, we knew it was 19%, but we thought it was just because it was all wine, so it's got brandy in it. That's what brings up the alcohol. Oh, because cool. you really can't ferment that high. Whether it was well, to naturally ferment, the yeast would die. You right. Know I mean, it just doesn't ferment that high. So, yeah. So anything that's 19%, it's going to have brandy. No. Oh. Oh, I like brandy. No. Oh. <laughs> that's good. Do you want another taste? Yeah, I'll take another taste of it. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Smile down there. <laughs> Although we can't see the smile, but anyway. <laughs> I'm yeah. teasing all the time. Yeah. Right? I'm yeah. all the time yeah. We had a lot of fun there, didn't we? Absolutely. We yeah. enjoyed visiting with all the, the fun, happy people at the Post Winery. Yeah, they, they were all family, right? The, yes. It was all just family, the whole thing. And, and they were very informative, and we had a lot of laughs, as you could see. Yes. And uh, we just really, really enjoyed our visit there, and we hope to return there. And did we buy some wine? Well, duh, of course we did. <laughs> Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah. We bought some wine. Oh, and I bought some really pretty wine glasses. That's true. You did Acrylic. get some really pretty white wine glasses. Yes. That's right. Yeah, I forgot beautiful. about that. Yes. Well, we've been drinking out of them just about every evening Well, my since then. doctor said a glass of wine every day was good for me. There you go. <laughs> and my doctor didn't tell me I couldn't drink wine. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... Anyway, another highlight, great highlight, while we were at Oxark was we had a visitor. Yeah. Which is becoming more and more common, and we love it. We just love it. Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, Betty Ann messaged us and said, hey, I'm only 20, 30 minutes away from you. What day can I come visit? And we arranged a time for her to come out, and we had a wonderful visit. In fact, her family called and wanted to know when she was coming home. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. She brought a veggie tray, and we sat there and just nibbled on veggies the whole time, and a and a fruit uh, yes. bowl thing. And had a and, great conversation. Oh, just had. Uh, we we really really enjoyed our visit with Betty Absolutely. Ann. Absolutely, yeah. so glad that she came out. And we really do enjoy it when folks come by to visit, and it happens almost everywhere we go. And we love it. Yes, we absolutely, we absolutely love it. Absolutely so love it. never be afraid if you happen to know where we might be. Never be afraid to stop by, or if you happen to be cruising through a campground and you see our trailer, which is, you know, highly recognizable. Be sure and stop. Be sure and stop by and say hi. Yeah, absolutely. Don't ever worry about uh, uh, doing that. You no. know, it's no big deal. We love to have people drop by and visit and say hi. Sure yes. do. Another great thing about Oxark was what? it had really long areas to ride our bike. Oh, yeah. Fantastic areas. So we had a good workout almost every day that it wasn't raining. Yeah, we did have some rain while we were there. Yeah. So. As far as the campsites go, uh, we were at B21. All of the B, they were in different sections. All of the B, as in boy, area is right on the river. Right. So our recommendation, as long as the campsite number has a B in front of it, B21, B23, whatever, as long as it's got a B in front of it, that's the place you need to go right absolutely absolutely those are the best <laughs> spots you have a beautiful waterfront view and all of the sites are nice and level you have uh, 30 amp and 50 amp service at all of them and you have water at the site on all of them you can't beat that at all and it is a Corps of Engineer campground so if you have the senior pass your 50 percent <laughs> discount applies absolutely yes which makes it wonderful <laughs> absolutely absolutely well anyway now that um, now that all of our family business is conducted and the doctors have given us a clean bill of health for the next 90 days for the next 90 days at least <laughs> anyway we're going to be off uh, on another journey here we'll be leaving shortly and we're headed towards the mississippi gulf coast is where we're headed we're so excited yes we are <laughs> and we hope you all can come along as well we hope you uh, join us in our trek to this to the uh, mississippi gulf coast and who knows where we'll go from there, right? We haven't determined that. <laughs> Still yet to be determined. <laughs> but anyway, while we were here, it's something that we'd always wanted to do. And y'all know how much Deb and I enjoy kayaking. And, of course, we love doing it together, of course. It's uh, very enjoyable for us. And I always wanted to be able to uh, put my kayak in at Beaver, Arkansas, which isn't very far from here. And it, too, is on the White River. It's actually the headwaters of Table Rock Lake. But when we put in, we paddled upstream, <laughs> and it wasn't that bad that day. No. We paddled upstream, and all I can say is the beauty about kayaking in waters you've never been in before, you never know what you're going to find around the next corner. So we hope you enjoy this. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Come with us right quick and see what we found around the next corner. We'll see you again soon. And keep in mind, folks, we're not camping. We're living. Bye-bye now. See you again soon. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be all right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. i
Drinking red wine by an open fire, make love a fire. 